to small things anymore. <sighs> a small thing? This is outrageous! I'm out of here! Still, so, what about that candy? Voila, amigos! Sue is no longer a reliable candy supplier! I have to do something! If you have any thoughts about how to, uh, unzen her, write in the comments below! Sam, I would never leave you hungry. It sure looks like it! It's just sometimes you're too... Excellent. Annoying. So today, we'll make you an automated Lego candy dispenser. So you don't have to call me to get candies. Yay! But you think I'm annoying, though? That hurts! Give me a candy to brighten up waiting. <laughs> Here. We are going to need a Lego kit with lots of bricks. Double-sided tape. And Skittles, of course! All right, let's get started. We're gonna stick these guys on this big gray brick. And now these. One more. And another one. Oh, 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 ah, there it is. Ah, okay. Let's keep going. This green one here. A square. And two yellow rectangles. All right. Now it's time for these little guys. How cute are these little triangles? <laughs> okay, Sam! What now? I have a very interesting job for you. Skittles need to be divided by color. Ooh, I can do this. I'll need this empty pack later. Moving on, we're gonna stack these Legos like this and stick them on each side. And a bridge. Okay, Sammy, keep it together. They need to be put in piles. Not your mouth! Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Sam, I can hear you! Too bad. Oh, what a slime. All right, let's keep going. We'll stick this here. And another there. Another here. Somebody oh. hasn't subscribed yet, but is watching my video. That's better. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. We're so close to finishing. We'll stick these guys right here. And up on top. We're just putting the finishing touches now. Oh, and see? That part can move back and forth. Perfect for dispensing candy. And this right on top. Our finishing touch. Want a joke? Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? Impatient cow. Impatient cow. <laughs> oh, so hot. I need to open the window. <laughs> Sam, don't, or there'll be a draft. How can she hear everything? Fine, I'll drink some water then. <laughs> <sighs> Cold. I should pour it. <sighs> Oopsie. I spilled a bit. <sighs> Fine. Uh oh. So, so I need help. <laughs> <laughs> you need a boat, not help. Not funny. I was hot and I wanted a drink. But you went for a swim instead. So. <laughs> Fine. Come here. Let me dry you off. Like this. <sighs> Thanks. But I'm still thirsty. I know. And there's a great solution for such a slick guy. Wow! How come I didn't know about this before? Well, it isn't candy. Ah. <sighs> 
not so hot, finally. Speaking <gasps> about candy... Ooh, Jelly Belly, will you please share? Sure! Let me open it first. <laughs> Need help? No, I'll manage. Oh! oh, Sam, what's the matter with you today? I just cleaned up. I'm sorry. I'll get the dustpan. Hey guys, did you know that Sam loves this channel just as much as he loves candy? And he really wants to have even more subscribers. You can help. Tell your friends about our channel. The more subscribers we have, the more videos we'll be able to make for you. And the more cool DIY ideas we'll have to share. You have our word for it. Ah, Sam, Sam. How does someone so little produce so much litter? So, I'm a genius. <laughs> no doubt about it. All geniuses are a bit weird. Yeah, but look! I've invented a candy machine! Here's the draft! Interesting! Pouring candies into the water cooler? Yes! I don't want this spill candy situation to happen again! We'll put them into a cooler and then pour it into a glass like water! Cool, huh? Cool, but impossible! Candies can't go up! Oh, too bad! But they can go down! Wait, really? Yeah! We'll make your candy machine, but it needs some tweaking. Hi, guys! Today we're going to show you how to make a real candy machine. What do we need? <laughs> we need a pencil, a ruler, a paper knife, and a lot of boxes. <sighs> a moment! Here! Hmm, Sam, these are great boxes, but they're too small for a small amount of candy. Oh, this won't do! We need a large amount of candies! This means a large box! Oh. Yes, this'll do. Let's start with the body of our machine. I'll carefully outline one wall using a ruler and a pencil so it's even. And then I'll cut it out. Just like this. Be very careful when you work with a knife. It's small, but very sharp! Better ask an adult to help. The first part is ready. Now I'll show you the measurements for the other parts. Here, to have it on hand, simply pause the video and take a screenshot or write it down. Now let's start connecting the parts. We need glue and lots of it. So, how many candy containers will there be? Five. Only five? Yes, five. Is that not enough? So many candies in the world and only five containers. Skittles, M&M's, and so many others. I get it. You're an expert. But let's get back to work and start gluing. <sighs> the glue gun is the best tool for this job. We'll glue the walls onto the rectangular base and get some glue here onto the rear wall. And put it together. From here on, it'll be easier to work with the box. Let's make the base more durable with more parts. I'll secure it with an additional wall here. There. The last two go to the bottom. One here. And one there. And leave the glue to dry. Now, let's make containers for candies. These are the measurements for the parts. Pause the video again and have it saved. First, we'll create supports out of the detail number three and a stick. Like this. We'll glue one part to another one. And then we'll glue it to the wall. And make another part just like this. And connect them with the detail number one. <laughs> How 
Oh, is my invention coming? Uh, your invention? I'm the one making it. And what are you <laughs> doing? The most important thing. What? I'm managing the process. All right, boss. Could you bring me an automatic pen? Yes, sure. But I'm the boss. I remember. <sighs> Let's continue. I'll glue this short stick to the piece number four. Add more glue here on the sides. And place it on the rear supports. <laughs> here, a pen and a contract. A contract? Yes, we must sign an agreement that I'm the inventor and you're my oh, assistant. Oh, I see. All right, give me the pen and I'll sign it. Huh, great pen. Just what I need. Hi, what are you doing? I'm making sure your invention works, boss. Ugh, fine, but the contract? Don't worry, I remember who's the boss here. Yes. It's me. <laughs> now, I'll put some glue onto the piece number five. And attach it here, like this. Now, I'll put the spring on the stick. And attach it to our container. Hot glue gun for life. Don't be shy with the glue. It should hold well. And now, cut off the excess. Let's add piece number six with a stick. And here we have a candy dispenser mechanism. I made a hole in the last piece number seven and now we'll put it right here. Now you just have to make four more of these. Don't tell Sam, but you can make more containers if the base is longer. What? You can make more containers? Oh, no, you've misheard me. You need more glue to keep it secured. Ah, that's good. Well done, Susie. I'll add a slope inside to make candies pour down easy. Looks good. We'll need more glue here. And now, I'll attach the containers to the base. I'll add a transparent window. Hey, Sam, have you chosen the candies for the machine? Ah, it was hard. Only the best made it. Great. We'll add candy labels to make it clear which are where. I printed the labels on a sticky printer paper. And now I'll get them on nice and neat. Nobody will confuse them. Who's gonna confuse candies? They're all so different. Well, you're the only expert here. And the rest of us need some guidance. We'll pour the candies into the containers. <sighs> Let me help! Uh, maybe I should do it. You've already opened one today. The containers are full, and now we can put the lid on. The candy machine is ready! Write in the comments which candies you'd put in your machine. Sam is very curious, and maybe he'll learn something new. Congratulations, colleague. It's a success. Colleague? You're not my boss anymore? You know, I think it's too much responsibility. And I'm too busy for this. Press the button! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam! <laughs> control myself. I'm confident. I'm strong. 
Almost ready. Uh, just one little detail. And here, too. Now we'll grab the candies <gasps> and put them in. What did I find them for? To strengthen your willpower, Sammy. Just that. Sam, look how cool! It's even better than I imagined. Yeah, yeah, enough sentiments. How do I use it? Well, watch this. I'll put a coin in here. Voila! Oh, candies! Let me try! Coin, voila! Candies! Oh, this is the best machine ever! I'm off to practice my willpower. It's too tempting. Guys, who likes our candy dispenser? Give Sam a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about Lego crafts, subscribe to the channel. And keep your eye out. They're coming soon. Bye-bye, all! I wanted to tell you about a miracle I once saw in the, uh, Tipidado. Snowdrop candies. <laughs> Usually it's hard to see them. Ugh, cleaning. Ugh, clean again. Not out loud to have any fun. Ugh, I wanted to go to the big slime ball so much. It's such a big event. But instead, I'm doing this! My evil stepmother made me sort Skittles and M&Ms. She says that I'm not going to the ball until I do it! Tater Tots, maybe you can help. No? Oh, I can't even have one candy for myself! My stepmother said that she'd count them! Dear Sam, I know how to help you. Oh, who are you? A fairy? Don't be sad. I'm your godmother, my little friend. I came to help you go to the ball. Oh, I'm ready to go right now! I can't! I need to sort candies! Don't worry, Sammy. I'm here to make a magical machine for sorting candies! A magical machine? Yay! Hey, hey! With all this work, I haven't forgotten about you, my dear viewers. And today, you're in for something amazing! Yes! Today, we're going to make a magical candy sorting machine. Will you wave your wand and the machine will appear? What? No, Sammy, magic doesn't work that way. First, we'll need to prepare all the necessary parts, then assemble the machine, and then we'll have magic. Well, all right. It's still faster than sorting candies one by one. What do I need to do? Please cut openings in these cardboard pieces. Cardboard? That doesn't sound magical, but... Oh, well. Even magic needs some effort. Give a magical thumbs up if you agree. And I'll start assembling our amazing candy machine. Here I have 24 cardboard strips, 22 by 2 centimeters. I'll glue each four of them together to make a sturdy base for our candy machine. Because candies aren't as light as they may seem. Huh. No, wait! Oh? You can't even eat one candy or the stepmother will get angry and punish me! Oh, well, I won't. You're so honest, my dear godson Sam. Yes, that's me, hardworking and honest. I'll continue cutting out cardboard pieces. Hard work and honesty are wonderful qualities. Which qualities do you think are most important? Write in the comments, please! Ba -da -da -dum. These are the sturdy cardboard strips I've made. And I've made these out of strips 12 by 2 centimeters. Everything's ready for making the base. Everything's ready? Why did I need to cut? Oh, no, no, Sammy. Only some of the pieces are ready. See? I'm gluing them together to form one big piece for the base. We'll need your pieces later. Tell me, Fairy Godmother, can you make candy wrappers disappear on their own so I won't have to collect them all over the house? Sammy, you just need to throw them into the trash can right away. Aw, oh, well, fine. Abracadabra! <laughs> nope. Alakazoo! Not what I need. Let's try this again. Ugh. No! <sighs> Alakazam! Ugh. Okay, one more time. And... Yes! Yum! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sammy has such a wild imagination, but this craft doesn't need imagination as much as it needs neatness and patience while I glue these pieces together to make a kind of crate. There, it'll hold other pieces. We'll start with this platform. It's made of cardboard pieces glued together. I'll attach it to the base, nice and slow. Let's apply some magical glue. Just look at this pretty blue glitter. And I'll attach the sides. On the back. And... On the front. And now... 
What is that? Take me away, my cardboard horse, to the slime ball. Horse fun! Sammy, what are you doing? These are parts for the candy machine. Oh, well, I, I thought what if I sit in them like a car? I'll get to the slime ball right away! I'm afraid cardboard doesn't have magical properties like that, but these pieces will help us continue our craft. These are some cool openings I've made, right? <laughs> yes, Sammy. It's one of the most important parts of the machine because candies will come out of here. Oh, then glue them in place. Hurry! This big piece should go on top. Carefully now. And this piece doesn't need gluing, but... There it goes. <laughs> yes, Sammy. We need to glue these circles to it. They'll be the handles. I'll glue one handle first. Then set the piece in place. And now I'll glue the second handle. Right, the piece moves! Wonderful! Let me do it too! <laughs> That'll be enough. You'll have plenty of time to move it. We still need to glue all the walls. All the walls? How many is that? Well, count them. One, two, three, four, Walls. That's right. But cardboard walls aren't enough. We also need to make glass walls in the front. Like this. Oh. Oh. What? We need to add an important piece inside. Two to be exact. Magic. We'll make little slides for candies to make it easier for them to slide into the opening. Yeah! Candy slides! And now we can place the transparent walls. To know what's inside. And more importantly, how much is left. So this isn't an endless candy machine. No, Sammy. All candies finish at some point. Aww. Aw, cheer up. I'll put the lid on and then you're going to see some real magic. Oh, I can't wait! Well, you'll have to wait a bit because the slides inside aren't enough. We also need candy slides on the outside. Can slimes write these slides? I doubt it. That is unless you want to turn into a candy-sized slime. Oh, no, I don't. Well, then you'll have to watch candies ride these slides. Here, we'll have Skittles. And M&Ms go here. Fairy Godmother, how is this wonderful machine going to solve the issue with candy sorting? It only serves them separately! Well, Sammy, I'm not called a fairy for nothing. Bibbity, bobbity, boom! Here are two containers with candies for you! Holy cannoli! Let's pour the candies into different sections and try our machine in action. And don't worry, you'll be able to eat a candy or two. I've added candy so your stepmother won't notice anything. Yay! So, here we go! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> All right! <laughs> no more candy mess! I'm so happy! Now I can go to the ball! Sure, Sammy. One, two, three! Huh? Huh? Wh what? Where? Huh? This... This is my bedroom. Not a ball! Oh, weird. I don't get it. Um, huh. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Hi, Sammy. Want a candy? Susie? Oh, uh, Sue, where did this candy machine come from? What do you mean? You've had it for ages. Have you forgotten? Silly Sam. Eat a candy and you'll remember everything. Uh, oh. Bibbity, <laughs> bobbity, boo! <laughs> the candies for our craft. Well, I was waiting for you, so I decided not to 
not waste time and test the material, whether it's tasty or not. And what do you say? I don't know. I dropped them and haven't tried all the flavors yet. <laughs> oh, Sammy. Candy unboxing is sure fun, but there's always a craft. Light shoe. Let's make unboxing and the craft. That would be awesome to combine business with pleasure. <laughs> You're very creative. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm just a mere genius. Genius. Let's Whoa. get to work. Da, 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 da. Hey guys, today we have lots of work and we will create an amazing Mentos vending machine. Hmm, I see only a stack of cardboard bricks and not a single Mentos package. <laughs> These are the basic parts. It's better to prepare them in advance. And if you involve the whole family, it can get even more fun. And faster, what's more important? So we get to the first magical combination. Sam, could you please bring me the skewers? Are you talking about the giant toothpicks for crocodiles? Oh, yes. As far as I know, crocodiles like to use small, lazy, pink slimes. Who do you mean? Me? If you didn't notice, I am actually helping you. OK, you're doing a great job. And now bring me the cutter, please. Here you go, Sue. Thank you, Sammy. Guys, don't forget to ask an adult to help you with the cutter. Come on, Sue. Very carefully, like this. Aha. We need to add glue into the holes for our giant toothpicks. And pop. Oh, wow. What an interesting thing we have here. But I don't really understand how it's going to work. <laughs> You'll know soon. Where is our tasty material? Yay! Finally! My favorite part, candies! Where are you? Guys, we need to repeat the same action twice so we get three dispensers. Sammy! Susie! I think I guess I lost a couple of candies on the way. Oh, you poor thing. Maybe you <laughs> lost them in your belly. Wait, Sue, so how did you guess? You're a bad liar. In my defense, I can say, try one and you will understand me. Well, okay. Mmm, it's delicious. Guys, comment below. What's your favorite Mentos flavor? That's enough. Let me take them to some safe place so you don't need all of them. Hey, hey, hey. I'll need at least one package for the craft process. Fine. Here you go, Sue. Thanks, Sammy. Ha! So, our dispensers look like this. It's getting more complicated, but we don't cut corners. Assistant, pencil, please. Coming! Sammy, are you eating candies for our craft again? How could you even think of it? Maybe I have a secret reserve. Oh, well, when the time comes to load the Mentos into the machine... Everything will be right on the spot. Okay, then I trust you, Sammy. Ah, this cardboard kingdom is driving me crazy! Sam, no time to rest. Bring the Mentos, please. Ha! Huh, I guess today Candies took over the cardboard. <laughs> Sammy, hurry up. Done! Looks like you recharged yourself with Candies again. <laughs> but I'll do this and hop. Holy cannoli! And now, Sammy, bring me the smallest pieces. I'm on it. So, what do we have here? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Here are all the small. Do you really think that I meant this? I don't get it. You said bring me the smallest pieces and I brought them. Oh, Sammy, that's what I meant. I did as ordered. Mmm, tastes like bubble gum. Sammy, please spare some for the craft and for me. What do you need them for? Sam! Okay, okay, we'll do. And what do you have here? These parts will serve as an important section of our Mentos machine. Well, it's more like a sandwich. <laughs> Actually, this reminds me more of a sandwich, but it is a special Mentos card. Mentos card? Sounds cool. You give me the Mentos card and I will be the main Mentos holder. <laughs> Did you mean Mentos eater? Hop. Detail, Sue. Keep working. Yes, yes. I already placed the zip ties here. They will help us secure the rubber bands like this. Sue, so, I guess we need clippers here. Right you are. By the way, guys, what 
What is your favorite tool to work with? Write in the comments below! And meanwhile, we need to thread these ties through the rubber bands and secure them nicely. And on the other side as well. Wow! Did I miss something? You are right on time. We are almost done with the mechanism. Where were you? Me? Uh, well, doesn't matter. We'll tighten it really well, like this. And cut off all the extra stuff, like this. And we will need three more of these. Hop, hop. And now we glue everything to the base. There we go. I wonder, where do they go? Hmm. hmm. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Did you call me? Yes, but I already managed it myself. And here is another task for you. Find me a bowl, but not a big one. Good. Uh, did you just say a bowl? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Whoosh! The bowl car has arrived. Hurry up and put the candies in here! <laughs> <laughs> this time, the bowl will serve as a stand for our Mentos machine. Hop. Oh, well. No luck again. Oh, so, Sammy. We're making a machine full of Mentos for you. Actually, it reminds me more of a house construction. Concrete, wax, then brick. Bang! <laughs> Sammy, I love your imagination, but we don't have any bricks or concrete here. Only glue and cardboard. Yeah, yeah. Tell me that it's not a house, but a device. It's not a house. It's a device. Susie! <laughs> okay, okay. Like this, we'll glue the last part. Same thing we need to do on the other side. And I need to do an inspection. By the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, especially if you like funny slimes. And for the next stage, we'll need a window like this. Oh, no! Susie! They disappeared! Disappeared! The Mentos, they're not there! Someone found my secret place! Oh, Sammy, I'm pretty sure you simply forgot where you put it. No, no, I never forget things. I, I was testing the flavors. First one, then another. Oh, right. I guess he finally remembered. <laughs> and we need to repeat the same actions with the two dispensers that are left. There we go. Um, Susie, don't worry. I found the candies. I wasn't actually worried. Really? Whatever. Looking forward to the candy finale. This stage is done. Ugh, and I'm ready to fill the machine with candy. We did attach the lids, but that's not all. Didn't you forget something? I guess no, but let's check. Okay, Mentos apple, Mentos strawberry, Mentos mix beach. Nope, everything's here. Gee, Sammy, you only think about candies. What about the decorations? <gasps> And all this will become the base which will help our machine turn around. Here is my masterpiece. Where do we stick it? Good job, Sam. We'll put them aside for a moment. I still need your help here. Oh, wow. The sandwich again? What for now? You will see. So now I need a screwdriver. Actually, I didn't expect to see the screwdriver here. Like this. Guys, ask an adult to help you. We make the hole so the cap can fit in there. Get ready for a great adventure, Mr. Cap. Hop. Wow, Susie looks interesting. Oh, yeah. So, another touch, and we can... We can attach the part with the cap. Yeah, you're totally right, Tammy. One, two, <laughs> three, done. It's like a real merry-go-round. And now we only need to decorate our machine. And voila. Looks amazing. Wow, the machine is ready, isn't it? Yep, we only need the candies. Awesome! I guess it's my paradise. Mwah. Get up, friend. Uh. It's time to put our candies into the Mentos Wonder Machine. Susie, it's never been so much fun to part with candies. Let's fill our Mentos machine and pop, pop, pop. Strawberry, apple, mixed beach. Oh, so tasty. This craft is just the best. 
Here's our Mentos machine! Oh, stop! Stop! How are we gonna get the candies from there? I thought you'd never ask. Give it to me! Let me show you how it works first. It's time for a Mentos party! Yay! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And next one. Whoa! It's working perfectly! Ta-da! Here comes the Apple Mentos! Bam! Here. Hi! I wanted to taste all the flavors at once! But oh, I was too enthusiastic and knocked the boxes over. Oh, I see. Oh. Huh, this candy has Homer's portrait on it. This means it has the flavor of what Homer likes. And Homer likes dough. Shh! Don't! Don't! Don't tell me! I want to guess this Tic Tac flavor. Homer likes donuts! <laughs> this is horrible! Now I'll know all the candy flavors in advance! I wish these candies were in a random order! It's alright, Sam. We'll put all the candies in a bowl, then they won't spill, and we'll be all mixed together. No, no, no! I can see character portraits on them, so the flavor won't be a surprise! I'm not going to eat them! That is an interesting no surprise! <laughs> okay, Sam. Wait! I've got it! Come! Hi, everyone! Today, we're going to make something for these yummy candies. Hmm, let's see… Mmm! Yum! Delicious! This is the flavor… No! Stop! Don't tell me! I don't want to know the rest of the flavors! Oops, sorry! But they are so tasty! I'll take the candies away to make sure you don't eat all of them. And you should start telling what you came up with. I mustn't look at them. Or I'll guess all the flavors! Ugh. With those portraits, the candies will look like Simpsons characters themselves. That's why we'll place them into a house. A house? What for? Well, they'll live in there, like the real Simpsons. And come out for a walk quite randomly. So, Sam, are you going to help me? Wow! Randomly! Just like I wanted to! Of course I will! What do I need to do? Find an image of the Simpsons house. We need to have an example before our eyes. Right! Will do! First, let's cut out the walls of our house. Sam, did you find the image? Yes, that was a very easy task. Well done, Sammy! Now bring me several popsicle sticks. A moment! Okay, the house needs some windows and a door. First, I'll draw the door. And cut the door carefully. Then open it. Pop! Next comes the windows to make it look just like the Simpsons house. These windows definitely need some color. It will be so pretty! Like any ordinary house, our house will have four walls. And I did well again! Great! Thanks, Sammy! Now we're going to make a very important part. It'll be something like an elevator that will take the Simpsons from the house to the front door. Look! This part is made of several smaller parts. We need to glue each of them to their places. Now we'll assemble the elevator cabin from these parts we've made. I'm applying little drops of glue to the edges like this. And then they go onto the base. I'll hold them to make sure they set. We'll enter two more small pieces right here. Then we'll pour some hot glue right into it. Guys, be very careful with hot glue. Now let's insert the skewer with several cardboard pieces on it like this. One of the walls is going to hold our elevator. What a weird elevator. It looks more like… A chimney. Yes, a chimney. It will be disguised like a chimney because the Simpsons don't have an elevator in their house. That's right, they don't! Do you have an elevator in your house? Write in the comments. This is the path for our elevator to move along. Let's glue our elevator to make sure it's attached securely to our house. 
We'll also need some walls around it, then it won't move from its path or out of the house. Uh, I'd love to ride an elevator in the park. It would be cool. It's impossible, Sam. Elevators can only go up and down. I need your help again. Bring me a pen, please. One moment. To ask me to bring a pen, but which one? Uh, this one's purple, this one's blue, this one's black, this one's a ball pen. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're so different. So many pens! I only asked for one! I didn't know which one you needed, so I brought everything I found! This one. But I'll need to open it, actually. There. We will only need it spring. Let's take the elevator out and put the spring on. Then back goes the elevator. Now it's time to glue two walls to our pretty house. Wow, it's a real elevator! They can use it to go down from the upper floor. But where are they going to live? That's a good question. We'll make a room for them. This cardboard piece is just the right thing. I'll fold the edges in. Huh. It doesn't look like a room, more like… A slide. This looks more like a slide, which we'll use to go right into the elevator. From the slide into the elevator? Wow, I'd love to live like that. When I want to go for a walk, I'd go down the slide and then ride the elevator. This wall goes inside our house. The elevator moves inside the house when we press the chimney. Our house will also need the floor. There it goes. And now the last wall. Let's apply some glue. And set it right here. Perfect. All the walls are in place. It's time for the roof. Do you remember how we made the Skittles machine? This house also dispenses candy, but it looks much more awesome! Give a thumbs up if you like it, too. Ah! There's a hole in the roof! Some rubbish might get inside! Calm down, Sammy. Don't worry. We'll cover it with a window, and our candies will use it to get inside. There goes a little plastic window. I've already colored the roof to make it just like the one on The Simpsons' house. We only need to set it in place. The house is ready! Wow, what a beautiful house! I'd love to live in it, especially together with the candies. I think that candies are the best neighbors in the world. Sammy, if it was like you wanted, then everyone would be candies. Even me. Speaking of candies, bring in the ball. Yay! <laughs> Here, Susie. Thanks, Sammy. Now our Simpsons can move into the house. I'll put them in through this window. Ah! Why didn't you tell me that you started? I have turned away. Now I'll know the order you put them in! No, you won't. They're in a pile in there. And they'll come out in random order. Yay! Then let them out for a walk. Let's go! It's working! Yum! It's donut flavor. We already know who loves donuts. It's Homer! Press! Come on, press it! Huh, I haven't tried this one. It's blueberry flavored! It's the favorite flavor of Marge! It's my turn to press! And you will eat it! Bubble gum? Bubble gum! It's Bart's favorite! Our craft today will prevent Sam from ruining my clothes with chewing gum. <gasps> Think I can hear something. <laughs> and it's coming from here? Sammy! Eureka! Who? I said Eureka! My hypothesis was right! I hope your hypothesis is related to my shirt. It is! Chewing gum doesn't like cold, so we combine gum with frost and boom! A perfectly clean shirt! 
Oh, yes, it is clean. Great job. Actually, I know tons of ways to remove chewing gum from clothes. For example, we can use an iron, hair dryer, and tape. That's very cool, but we agreed that you'd help me with the craft. With great pleasure. And wash the rest of the clothes? Uh, listen about washing. Let's get back to the craft. Guys, now we'll draw the layout of a maze where Sam's chewing gum will roll. By the way, Sam, you'd better sort these clothes according to color and wash them separately. This way they won't get stained. Yes, yes. And there are a couple of t-shirts with Nutella stains. You need to pre-wash them before putting them into the washing machine. So maybe I'd better help you with the craft first. Mm, I'm doing just fine. You can focus on the washing. Washing is boring. And crafting is fun. Sam, you can make any task fun. <laughs> Guys, be careful with hot glue. Ask an adult to help you. It's the matter of creative approach. Any routine can be super mega interesting. So even washing can be fun? Highly unlikely. <laughs> of course it can. Sam, you're the famous creative slime. Brainstorm a little and the solution will come naturally. Creative, creative, creative! Sam, it's like you're summoning a ghost. You sound kind of creepy. Shivery cheddars, I got it! It's so easy and genius, totally my style. I didn't doubt ya. You've always been a very creative slime. So, we almost finished the body of our vending machine. Huh? Don't you think it looks like a maze? I always dreamed about walking in a mysterious labyrinth. It's so exciting. Well, of course I'm happy that Sam came up with a creative washing option, but it's become suspiciously quiet again. Hmm, that's weird. Creative washing, easy peasy. Um, so fast? That's even more suspicious. Nothing to suspect, it's just about being creative. Okay, guys, be careful while working with an awl. This is where we need to insert a piece of a pen. We've already cut it to the necessary size. So Sam, tell me, how did you deal with the dirty clothes? I threw them away. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Very funny. That was sarcasm in case you didn't get it. Snap. Come on, Sue, it was funny. Well, I did fall for it. Anyways, don't switch the topic, Mr. Sly Slime. What happened to the clothes? simple. I just put them into the freezer. I have a guess, but I'll still ask. What for? Well, the chewing gum got off thanks to the cold, so the other stains will also fall off. Okay, I saw that coming. Sammy, I'll count that as washing. Now, can you help me with the craft? At your service. Make the wheel for our vending machine. Uh, one moment. And the wheel is ready. Guys, check out the cool wheel Sammy made. With its help, the chewing gum will get into our machine. Sammy, you are definitely way better at crafting. So are you. Hold your tongue, Mr. Creative Washing. I wash the clothes so well that afterwards they look brand new. Are you trying to say that I'm not good enough at washing? I'm not trying, but saying it clearly. Sam, you're not good enough at washing. You have to face the truth and acknowledge your imperfections. You'll regret these words when you see my slime washing skills! Huh. <sighs> yeah, yeah. The central part of our machine needs to be transparent. That's why we'll glue this plexiglass to the body. So, Sam, why are your incredible washing skills so special? Whoa! All because of my cool secret life hacks! I get clean your shirt using the freezer. And let me guess, next time you'll put all the clothes into the oven so all the stains will get hot and run away? You can joke all you want, but you'll be shocked when you see perfectly clean clothes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe you'll even iron them? Maybe I will. Anyways, you'll be shocked. Guys, this trick is called manipulating slime perfectionism. Sounds smart, right? <laughs> I came up with it myself. You just have to tell Sammy that he's not perfect at something and done. You can see the result. <laughs> How else could I make Sam wash our clothes? And our machine will work with the help of this wheel. We'll attach the wheel to the base of our craft, and we'll also need a smaller wheel like this. Wow, Sammy, you're just, um… Yes, yes, I'm awesome, we all know this. Let's do some crafting now. The clothes are washed, and I also helped with the craft. I guess someone here is just awesome! I wonder who that is! Trying to manipulate slime perfectionism again! What? 
How did you know? It's too easy. I use the famous slime deduction technique. Wow, I didn't know that existed. Uh, tell me more. Do you think I'll put all my cards on the table just like this? Ooh, that was very naive. Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to know about slime deduction. The more likes we get, the faster he tells us. Right, Tammy? There you go. You know, I think I'll tell you about slime deduction right now. Wow, Sammy, that makes me happy, but why all of a sudden? You pardon me for the chewing gum on your shirt. Oh, I forgot it long ago. Come on, tell me about your slime deduction. I love to learn new things. It's my inspiration to create new unusual outfits. And here we'll put the chewing gum. So the first rule of slime deduction is to pay attention to details. Wow, just like in fashion. Details create the right look and give the outfit a certain vibe. What kind of details helped you to reveal my small manipulation? Small, you say? I washed, ironed, and folded a ton of clothes! And now I'll make a cool shoot for the gum. Just like a water slide. <laughs> Sammy! Tell me more about your deduction? I'm so curious! Well, first, speech is very important, especially certain words. For example, you said good many times. Mm, so what? It's just a word. What could that mean? It means that in this way you tried to call to my inner perfectionist. Huh. Interesting. Go on. Second, you used the trick of enhancing. Enhancing? I've never heard of that before. Uh, explain, please. I'm puzzled. When I started to prove that I'd wash the clothes, you said maybe you'll leave and iron them. You said it on purpose so I would iron the clothes in addition to washing. Wow. <laughs> You're observant. Observation is the key skill of slime deduction. But there is also point three. Oh. I'm all ears. It's just your language. Wow. Explain. When you told me that I'm not good enough at washing, you moved your elbow to the side and looked at the upper right corner. It means that you didn't think so. I said it on purpose to make me want to prove the opposite. Oh, that's impressive. See? Slime deduction is the best way to reveal manipulations. Now I'll use it as well. Thanks, Sammy. Sammy, now you can enjoy chewing gum and my clothes will be safe. My chew! You said that you forgot about it! Moreover, I washed everything! <laughs> Just kidding, you did great. You washed all the clothes perfectly and helped with the craft. Guys, just check out how fun it is to help the chewing gum find the way out from our labyrinth. I bet you won't believe me when I say that I can chew all this gum. I can do it easily. Oh no, Sam, that doesn't work. Now I know the trick and can see all your manipulations right away. What do you mean? First, you said I bet you won't to awaken my inner perfectionist that wants to be good at everything. Second, you used the psychological trick of challenging, saying that you can chew all the gum easily. And third, at the end of the phrase, you bent right, which proves your intention to get all of the gum. Hmm. I wish I'd never taught you that. I will never tell you about my secret techniques again. <laughs> okay.